it's Linda and for today's video I am going to give you five pieces of advice I wish I knew before I started pharmacy school. Now um, before I get started first of all I'd like to thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. I honestly didn't think I would reach that many by 2015 but I did and it was just amazing and I just want to thank you guys for your support. Okay so there's a few pieces of advice I want to give you guys. If I knew these things and if I followed them, I feel like my semester would have gone a lot smoother. The first couple are specifically pharmacy related. Um, I wish I knew my amino acids because the first semester we had a professor that was just telling us know, you, know your amino acids, know them inside and out. And like if you haven't taken biochemistry at all, like I took biochemistry and I still found them to be a little bit difficult. If you haven't taken biochemistry at all or if you haven't taken it for over six months, I highly suggest you review your amino acids before you start the program. They make your life a lot easier. The backbone is all the same for the amino acids, but you just have to change the R group and make sure you can recognize them, make sure you know them, make sure if they give them to you in different, if they flip it upside down, inside out, you know what it looks like. The second thing is specifically pharmacy related. So um, with pharmacy, we have a list of top 200 drugs that you'll have to know very well by the end of your program. So for our first year, we have to know the name, brand, and generic, and then we also have to know like what it does. So is it used for blood pressure? Is it used for anxiety? What is it used for? And then we also have to know how it's given. So we have to know um, like, is it is this an oral? Is this going to be an IV? Is this going to be like a topical? Is it like a derm? So if I was you, I would just Google top 200 and they'll give you a list of two, top the top 200 medications that are most frequently used in everyday pharmacy. For our school, we have to like, we build up on them. So the first year we learn, like they'll give us 20 a week and then for like, let's say eight weeks or 25 a week or so for, you know, for that amount of time. So every week we'll have to learn 20 and sometimes for people who've never worked in a pharmacy it was really hard um i was fortunate enough to work in a pharmacy before i started but i still found some of them to be challenging just because in pharmacy is being a technician you're always running around you're always busy but for my the pharmacy i used to work at it was fast paced so it was more about getting work done than actually about learning so i suggest you sit down and try to memorize those drugs because they're expected of you and um, it'll make things easier while you're preparing for quizzes and whatnot and you won't have to learn a bunch of new work a bunch of new drugs the same time as you have like other stuff going on the third thing is if it also regards tip number two is learn the best way to memorize fast for me i had the first week on those quizzes i didn't do as well as i wanted to because number one i crammed but number two I didn't really have a method of memorizing so like some people used Quizlet use Quizlet to your advantage make flashcards um, for me I went on YouTube and I just googled how to memorize because I wanted to memorize quick and fast and efficiently and with our top 200 quizzes they would give us like the brand name we'd have to know the generic so some words like they don't match up some brand names and some generic names have nothing to do with each other so I found clever little ways of making like rhymes or similes or sentences. I got really creative and I had a few friends help me out. Like this wasn't just something that I was like, oh, I'm just going to go. No, I had YouTube help me out. I had a couple friends help me out. Ask your classmates, how do they memorize? Um, I got a lot of advice from classmates. I asked them how they memorize, what's their most efficient way of memorizing, studying. Get to know your classmates because you'll be with them for four years. And or however long your program is and develop that kind of bond where you trust them and they trust you and like work with them. I mean, that's kind of an added bonus tip, but learn how they study, see how they study, see what works best for you because studying in undergrad is much different than studying in, in a professional program. Another piece of advice is help out your classmates and, and try to establish that bond with them because you guys will be there for four years and learning from them and them learning from you is just going to make things a lot better. So tip number four, that was actually like an added bonus tip, but whatever. Um, tip number four, and this one I'm guilty of, and this is for everybody, not just professional programs, it's undergrad, 
but learn how to manage your time. Like, I know this sounds overrated, but like if you haven't learned how to manage your time in pharmacy school, things will be difficult. And like, I mean, I've been told by my mom for years, you know, manage your time, manage your time. But it wasn't really until pharmacy school that I started to be more conscious of my time. I found myself studying a simple lecture, maybe three hours, and I was like, why? this? I just have to review this. If I really put my time and my energy and my focus, I could have finished this in a half an hour. Why did I take three hours to do it? So that's when I had to step back and I had to reevaluate my time. Like, how long is it really taking me to eat this meal? Like, it sounds really crazy, but during exam time, this stuff is going to be really important. Or in the middle of the semester where the light from the end of the semester feels like miles away, that's when you have to like focus. And knowing me, I'm probably gonna come back and watch this video because I tend to do that. I have very poor time management skills, but they've improved over the past semester just because I'm more conscious of what I'm doing. Finally, the last piece of advice that I didn't really start doing this until this semester was listen to your body. I know this sounds crazy, but like listen to your body. My thing is, and all of my friends know this about me, I, mean, I have to stop studying by 10 p.m. My brain just completely, it's just not gonna work. So I don't study well at night, but I see that my friends, they study well, their prime time to study is 2 a.m. For me, there's nothing, I, I can't do anything at 2 a.m. I can't study at 2 a.m. So listen to your body. If you're tired, then you're tired. If you're gonna, if you're forcing yourself to study, you're gonna sit there for an hour and you're going to stare at this lecture or stare whatever, you're gonna feel like you're studying, but you're not. So give yourself a chance for a break. Um, it sounds crazy, but like if you're hungry, hunger strike for maybe an hour, but afterwards your brain is a muscle. Don't don't force yourself too much. If Make sure you always have a, a glass of water or a bottle of water right next to you because your brain is a muscle. You're using all this energy. You're using so much energy. Force yourself to go on some crazy diet. I don't suggest any crazy diets of what you eat is one thing, but don't stop yourself from eating because that's just going to backfire. Um, if you're tired, take a nap. I suggest no more than 20 minutes for a nap because afterwards your body just feels really groggy and your body's kind of like, well, I kind of want to sleep another four hours and then that'll just waste your whole day. So I know these things all sound like common sense, but when you're stressed out and you have a lot on your plate, then, and you're just like, oh, water is too far away or, oh, I have to go eat, oh, I, I have to go make myself something. Give yourself give your body credit for how much work it's studying because you're studying but I, your brain is also using a lot of energy to study at the same time so i hope these five pieces of advice help you guys out um whatever you guys plan on doing i wish you guys all the best and i hope you guys succeed i wish you guys the best of luck and i will see you guys later thanks for watching bye